results. Simple. However, you can't even, even get to that stage because you have some random angular error. Hey guys, and welcome back to my coding channel. Today we're going to talk about why it's so hard to predict the time required to complete a programming project. Why is it so hard, guys? Uh, I'm sure you have experienced it um, personally when you have started on the project and you said to someone it's going to take one month and it really took four months or maybe six months. Uh, and I think it's a really common problem that a lot of developers have and a lot of development uh, teams have because it's very hard to predict the time it takes to complete a project. And I think there are several reasons for that. And uh, so reason number one is that requirements always change, guys. The app you're building today will not be the same app you're, build, you're building in, in a year or maybe a, a six months from now or a month from now or, or even a week from now. Your idea about the app might change, but also the customer might change the requirements uh, in the middle of a project. And that happens very, very often. It's a very common, common thing for customers to change their, their mind, but also for you as a developer or as a development team to change your mind about the product. So for example, you might be, you might be building an app. You start and you have an idea in your head, a picture of, a picture of how this app is going to look like in, uh, in, uh, in a month or six months or when it's finished. However, this idea might change, uh, might change um, while you develop because you might realize that uh, this one feature that you thought would be useful for users, it turned out to be very unnecessary and users don't even appreciate it. So you have to replace this feature with this other feature. However, this other feature will add complexity to the project as a whole. So that is an example of how how a project might change in such a way that uh, that the time will increase, the time, the development time will increase. And so as a reaction to this fact, uh, when, when we as an industry realize that whenever we start a programming project, we're never completely sure that what we're bu building today will be the same product that we're building in, in a month or a year from now. When we realize that fact and accept it, uh, and accepted that fact, we have developed something called the Agile methodology. And what the Agile methodology is that it's a methodology of working as a team or as a software developer or software development team. And the idea is that from day one, we keep in mind that the uh, requirements will change and our idea of our app will change as well. We will, we will discover new aspects of the app that we didn't even think about today. And so when we start working, we plan our project accordingly. We have weekly meet, uh, meetups where when the whole team meets and we discuss our, our progress and we discuss if we should change the direction of the project. If you do that each week, it will be easier for you to adjust uh, the, di the direction of the project. Uh, and so, okay, now I've gone on a tangent about agile development. However, so the, <laughs> the reason number one why it takes so long to complete a project is because requirements change and the, the, uh, you, you, might, um, uh, you might develop a new image of the product, a new uh, vision for the product in the middle of the development. And that happens very often, guys. So that, that's the reason number one. And reason number two is that uh, technical problems will arise, technical challenges will arise, and um, yeah, technical issues that you didn't even think of before. Uh, and that's very common, guys. I, I'm sure you have experienced a situation where you, you are, um, coding something and you think that this feature will take two hours to implement it it might be simple maybe some ser simple search function so that users can search for things in your app or website and you think all right it will take two hours i need to query the database and i need to display the results it will be very easy however you soon realize 
you soon realize that you have some kind of random error in your framework that you're using. Maybe you're using Angular and you get some weird error that you don't even, even understand. That's common with Angular. Uh, and you're stuck. You, <laughs> you're stuck, guys. You, you can't uh, continue, continue developing. And it doesn't matter, matter that the process should be simple. It's because it, you, you're thinking that you will have to query the database, show the results. Simple. However, you can't even, even get to that stage because you have some random angular error and you can't even get your search query to the, to the backend for some reason. God knows why, <laughs> and you and uh, you'll take your time. You'll take maybe three to four hours to uh, uh, resolve the issue with Angular, and then you can do your uh, querying the database and displaying the results. That's just an example, guys. You never know uh, which technical, unexpected technical issue you you might uh, run into, uh, and it's very important to keep that in mind. And personally, whenever, whenever I do consulting gigs, I always charge hourly. That's very important, guys. I think you should always, always, always charge hourly. Not, not a fixed amount for the whole project, but hourly. Because, uh, and it's, this is exactly because of those reasons. Number one, your customer will change his or her mind. Number two, you will encounter unexpected problems. And if you don't charge hourly, guys, you will feel unmotivated and the product will be uh, won't have the same quality as it would if you if you were charging hourly uh, and that's a very important tip i think that as a developer if you're doing consulting gigs it's very tempting to to do fixed uh, uh, to charge a fixed amount because the customer will feel more safe that the cost will not explode uh, however in my experience it isn't uh, it's it's not a good solution uh, so always charge hourly and keep in mind that uh, you you might change your mind about the product because you discover new things you discover that features you thought were useful are not useful and you need to do new features and keep in mind that customer will could change his or her mind very common and finally yeah technical issues might pop up from nowhere and you you need to solve them guys uh, that's it guys that that's why i think it's hard to estimate how long a project is going to take what do you think guys have you experienced the problems i described for example unexpected technical issues or customer changing his or her mind or you change your mind about the product if you have i would love to hear hear them so please write your comments uh, about your situation if you have encountered those situations. And if you're completely new to this channel, you should subscribe if you like programming, you like software development, you like technology, because this is the channel for you guys. That's it guys, I'll see you tomorrow.